Hello, welcome to this Keysight video demonstration on the Wirescope 350 and the Framescope 350 units. Today we are going to talk about how to transfer data from your handheld to your PC without using a USB connection. Back in 2008, the Wirescope and the Framescope products were discontinued, so the last driver developed to support this USB data transfer is the Windows XP operating system. So today, many users are, have already upgraded to Windows 7 or higher. Then we have an alternate solution to remove the data from the unit. So this required using a compact flash card and a USB compact flash card reader. Uh, one thing you need to make sure is the compact flash card must be one gigabyte or smaller in size. So what we have to do simply is plug in the card. And also, if you already have a card inside, just go ahead and pull it back out and then plug it back in. And you'll notice the unit has detected a combat flash card. And it will ask you if you want to merge with the data on the card. So basically, this is going to copy everything from the internal memory into the combat flash card. So go ahead and say yes. So now on the screen, you can see there are, it's a merging the side database, merging the limit database, so it will go through and um, merge and copy all the data over to the combat flash card. And you'll also see a merge status bar down below in red, so it will be scrolling across. When it's completed, it will show 100%. Okay, and one quick note is that if you're using this compact flash card for the first time on this unit, then it will take some time to format the card properly before this merging will start. Okay, now the unit has completed the merge, so we will go ahead and hit the OK button. And now it's going to take some time, and then now it has finished copying the data to the compact flash card. So from here, all we need to do is unplug the card, a USB reader, and we are ready to move on to the next step. Now from our PC, we can go ahead and launch the Scope Data Pro software. When the software launches, we have four different choices to get started. So what we have here, because we are uploading data from a compact flash card, so we want to select either upload records into an existing database or upload records into a new database. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a new database choice. And then what I will do, I will give it a test one mdb file name okay now you see we have a little pop-up that shows it's um, starting to upload the test results so before doing that it has to go out and see if there are devices connected to the PC so the software right now is going through the different ports and looking for either a compact flash card or a USB connected wire scope unit and uh, one key thing to know here is that when it does find a device, for example, in our case, compact flash card must have import.all file in the root directory. And that's what determines what gets uploaded into the software. Okay, so now you see we have finished detecting, and it has found a compact flash card with a Wirescope 350 at drive F. So we'll highlight that and hit OK. And then now the data has been updated, and so you just say OK. And now you see we have the five test results uploaded to your PC. Thanks again for watching this video demonstration. And for more information on Wirescope or the Framescope products, please visit our website at www.keysite.com slash find slash Wirescope.